All right. Uh, today's podcast, I want to visit with you about the new part of the model we just opened up. Uh, you can see on the screen, uh, that's a screen capture of uh, if you've been working with our tool and running the FSA decisions, which would be the first two options on the right hand side, the yield update and the base reallocation and the uh, PLC art uh, decision aid. The next one is, is the Farm uh, Farm Bill 2014 insurance and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about it so when you use it you can uh, uh, understand what you're looking at. So once you've got your farm entered, again, you've done this, you've been in our model for a while, we just opened this up today, uh, you're going to see the first page is basically going to be an introductory page that tells you, all right, these are the types of options you can run. Now, just i say it several times during this podcast, but when you look at the results, what we're doing is we're running your analysis under uh, a policy and all the different crop insurance options available to the different crops. And we're getting all those results, restoring them, and then when we're going to show you a graph in a little bit, it's going to be of, uh, uh, of whatever option you want to look at. So all the results are already done. Uh, you're going to be able to change it on the fly. So. Once you hit get started, uh, you're going to uh, come up and, and all the farm, all the crops on your farm. And this is crop and practice uh, specific for the for, for all the farms you have on your list that's in that county. We're going to show up here. So, for example, on this particular farm I'm looking at, there are uh, two different farm numbers have irrigated long grain rice. But for purposes of doing insurance, we're going to look at irrigated long grain rice all together. And so you can look at if you're buying your insurance uh, optional units, uh, it's going to look at it that way, but it's also going to combine all the long, irrigated long grain rice you have in the county together and look at it as an enterprise unit, which, which has a substantial uh, uh, premium discount on it. So you're going to be picking which one of these. And so in this case, I'm going to be looking at irrigated long grain rice first thing you have to do is you've got to answer the question of, as you can see on this sheet, there's two FSA farm numbers that have the rice on it, has different APH yields by just a little bit. The projected price there is for 14. I know that crop has basically been harvested, uh, but this is for the life of the farm bill. That 14 projected price was the announced price for 15, 16, 17, 18. We're going to do estimates off of uh, where we say prices are going to be off the futures market. Uh, to uh, pay if there's a loss. You're going to have to do just like you did in the uh, FSA tools. You're going to have to pick a, a average price level for the crop and uh, once you do that you hit go and it's going to run. Now I'm going to tell you depending upon how many farm numbers, how many crops for farm number, and specifically if you've got uh, as we've run across a number of say 20 different farm numbers and all of them have cotton in the same county to do that enterprise unit, it aggregates everything in that county of that crop practice. So we're going to have to, it's going to take a while. So when this comes up, you're you're done and, and all the excitement is over with. You can look at results. So what we're looking at on the screen now is basically bar two stacked bar charts. And it is for the life of the farm bill. So over the life of the farm bill, what we're trying to do is the green, it says, what's the probability of having a uh, net revenue and it's net not net of all your production expenses it's net of insurance costs but it does have market revenue it does have farm program receipts and it does have crop insurance indemnities if, if they're due but it's again it's net of however much the insurance costs the green bar is basically over seven million dollars what's the probability of being there and we the first one on the left is kind of a comparison one and you can adjust all the different parameters on the right for the right bar and you can uh, just policy, you can adjust the crop insurance, etc. So what we're doing with this is we're trying to give you kind of a, 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 a we split the left bar up into 50% in the yellow, 25% on each side. So what you want to do, the short answer to this is you want to have less red, less probability of, of, of lessing, in this case, less than $6 million receipts, and more green. That means that the probability of whatever policies you've picked have, have increased the chances you have better outcomes. And so what we're doing here is is on this first, on the left-hand side, you've got optional unit structure, a yield protection, 50% coverage, and it's an ARC county. 
on the right hand side uh, I've gone in and selected the same insurance but put this farm in price loss coverage SEO which because we've done this the steps process going through the model we knew that would be the one that the producer would choose for that particular crop and so you can see off the bat the amount of the amount of downside risk on on net revenue has been decreased substantially by just the policy choice but what I want you to do is I want you to go in and look and say what if I change the optional unit which I'm buying I'm insuring this field and this field and they pay on individual losses click the little box change it to enterprise and see what it does to your results the question is can you uh, with the amount of protection from the FSA title one programs uh, you're getting a lot of protection some of it might be duplicative of what you're getting from your crop insurance some will some won't be so you can adjust all the different parameters of your crop insurance to see whether you can make yourself better off very soon we're going to have where you're just going to be looking at 2015 insurance and all by itself not this is this bar chart is six million dollars is is the aggregation of five years of, of doing the analysis for that particular crop so it's the sum uh, very soon we're going to be adding the insurance tool where it just looks at 2015 and and the question there will be what would be the best thing for us to look at and go to our insurance agent and say you know what I've looked at this a little bit I want to I want to, you to help me think through uh, maybe looking at these different policies or why why am I not I might not want to choose one of those so until next time again please start using this tool I just have to understand there's there's a lot of risk analysis going on in the background and uh, uh, hopefully it will be uh, something that will be useful to you as you make decisions in the future thank you